pulmonary tuberculosis pulmonary tuberculosis is a contagious bacterial infection causing agent mycobacterium tuberculosis this infection mainly affected lungs and spread other organs this mycobacterium tuberculosis affected lungs name is called as pulmonary tuberculosis it will affect other part name is called as extra pulmonary tuberculosis morbology it is a gram positive bacterium I won't take gram staining because their cell wall having high lipid content this one is non motile non sporing non capsulated microorganism obligate aerobic normally stain with acid fast that is why we called acid fast bacilli this organism can grow 37 degree celsius at 65 degree celsius this organism are catalyzed negative and 37 degree celsius this one is catalyzed positive it produced a niacin this uh, organism replicate very slowly that generation time 15 to 20 years it will grow specific medium lowenstein jensen lj medium this one is egg based medium it will grow 4 to 6 weeks that colony has very small red color appearance hmm. then it will grow one more medium middle hook medium this one is agar based medium not in egg based then structure of mycobacterium tuberculosis that cell wall of this bacterium having cell membrane peptidoglycan arabino glyalactone mycolic acid mycocytes all layers are very very important and comparing to others mycolic acid arab arabino glyalactone and peptidoglycan are is very important <laughs> the peptidoglycan like on is very important because of it will maintain that rigidity and the safe of bacilli then arabino galactone help the bacterium survive inside that macrophages then mycolic acid this one is a thick layer maintaining uh, that cell wall less permeability to various substances this make difficult to antibiotic to penetrate that bacterium then tuberculosis that causing agent Uh, four main species is there mycobacterium tuberculosis mycobacterium fovis mycobacterium africanum mycobacterium microti and comparing to others mycobacterium tuberculosis causes severe infection to human being then this mycobacterium tuberculosis we knows this one is the abdicate aerobic organism cannot live without oxygen this one is our lungs part this one is right side lung this one is left side Uh, right side having three part upper or superior middle and lower loop this one having left side having two part upper and lower part that upper part and middle part was separated by horizontal fissure then that middle part and uh, lower part is separated by oblique fissure this uh, left side upper and middle was separated by oblique oblique fissure this lungs having uh, two loops no uh, lower and upper part having this lower part and upper part uh, having uh, more oxygen content the middle part less oxygen only so organism can survive upper and lower part only not in middle part then mycobacterium tuberculosis can be divided into three categories primary tuberculosis latent tuberculosis reactivation tuberculosis primary tuberculosis is the first step entry of microorganism through trapped nuclei when inhale it will enter to trachea and branchi ultimately ultimately it will reach to alveolus this alveolus having macrophages um, now this alveolar macrophages take that mycobacteria take that infectious microorganism this one is the mycobacterium tuberculosis through inhale only it will enter to human body it will enter to trachea and branchi particles after that it will reach to this alveolus this alveolus having micro macrophages okay then it will enter to the inside of the macrophages then multiply very rapidly then it will released uh, neutrophil hemo attractant and cytokine as a result this one is that atrials pulmonary vessels going towards lungs it carry inflammatory cells now this pulmonary uh, vessels having inflammatory t cells then as a result that cellular immune response will developed 
the cellular uh, immune response development causes tissue necrosis as a result of formation of granuloma. What is granuloma? It comprises central area. Central area of that necrosis is called as um, caseation. That gram that uh, um, so the primary tuberculosis is from granulomatous lesion or granuloma. Okay, that central part causing necrosis is called as caseation. Then primary granulomatous lesion formed in the lungs is called as cone focus. Primary granulomatous lesions is called as cone focus. That involvement of healer lymph nodes along with the cone focus is called as cone complex. Second one is latent tuberculosis. When a person was affected from t uh, primary tuberculosis in his body, that bacteria present very small amount. Now, a very small number, but won't cause us any symptoms. Uh, our body immune system developed a memory against that organism for future production. Last one is reactivation tuberculosis. It rising from latent infection. Whenever that person lost their immunity, it will reactivate it. That latent tuberculosis was reactivated. Example, diabetics, chronic kidney disorders, HIV, aged, corticosteroids, drugs, this reason only it was inactivated. Decreased immunity, chances latent infection reactivated. Now patient also can spread that infection to others. Then clinical manifestation, first one is constitutional symptoms, anorexia, uh, night sweat, weight loss, low grade fever and fatigue. Then pulmonary symptoms, uh, dyspnea, chest tightness, uh, non-resolving pneumonia, non-productive cough, microprolent sputum with hemophysis and chest pain. Then extra pulmonary tuberculosis, pain and inflammation.